Welcome back everybody. In this video we are going to talk about measure panel and we have two commands. One is the dimensions and second one is the measurement. So if I click on this arrow button we have two commands in here. Measure between two references, measure along an element. Now let's take, take a look at measure between two references. I'm going to click on it. It's going to ask me to save a project and now we have selected that measure between two references. Now, to take the temporary dimension from two reference points, you can simply click and then click on a second point and that dimension is going to be just temporarily written over there. So if I click anywhere else, that dimension will go away. Now, let's say I want to find out the dimension between this point to this wall. So I can click here and then take my cursor to the right and I click again and now I can see this uh, distance is 12 feet at 9 inch and as I mentioned before this is just a temporary dimension to quickly find out that what is the distance between this point to this point you don't really have to select an element all you need is two reference points so let's say if I want to click here and then click here and that's 43 feet and 5 inch and some fractional value here now it can show us the angle as well so we are looking at the 45 degree angle now it can be any point so let's say if I want to find out from here to here it will give you the distance and an angle as well now without this command you won't be able to find these two uh, distance between these two points because if you select this it will only give you this temporary dimension according to the element you select now in a drop down menu we have another command called measure along an element Let's draw a temporary wall outside. So I'm going to select the wall. Let's select something like a generic 90mm brick wall. Draw a wall. And now I'm going to go and click on modify to get out from the command. We'll go back to modify tab and then click on measure with an element. So measure along an element. Let's click on that. Now if I check my cursor, now you can see I'm able to select an element. Whether it's these walls or this outer wall. So once I click on that, it will draw a temporary reference dimension that is telling me this is a 90 degree angle and the distance between these two points from end point to end point is 16 feet. So these two commands are really helpful to find out a measurement between two points. And I would say that you don't really need to measure along an element because you can always pick those points between those elements. Let's say if I click here. I want to find out the dimension in a midpoint so I can just take my cursor snap it to the midpoint and then take it down that should give us 8 feet but I actually selected right at wrong points now these two commands are really useful and uh, in the next video we're going to look at dimensions